Hey everyone, it's been a while, but I'm back with an exciting frame and interaction breakdown. This one is not your typical sticky scroll trigger. It works in reverse. And the best part is you can create this without writing a single line of code. You just need to follow two quick steps here. And I am not sharing the remix file this time because I want you to build it by yourself. That way you will really understand how it works and be able to apply the concept creatively in your own project. So let's make this one is uh, something like this and add layout. Let's add the main frame now. Let's name it landing page. Sorry, hero section. And you can add layouts, but let me add 100% relative here. You can also add fill there, but I think relative is good to understand that concept better. So let's make this part viewport 100 bh as well and remove the background and let's click on the main desk uh, frame and make this fit content and let's duplicate that and let's reduce the gap here so i'm going to apply our reverse sticky scroll effect here so let's add that so let's paste that here and at this moment it's absolute let's make this relative and let's go back to our main stack you can see there is a effect in a built here let's remove that as well i have removed its previous effect from there now it's properly wrong so let's start our main part so under this stack there is a text and also another text as a handwriting format i'm going to add another section there and let's make this one vertically aligned or directed and let's make this part fit content and let's remove its inner part so now it's proper clear and let's add around 100 px top and bottom now it looks good and let's make this part viewport 100 as well because you will understand that later let's focus on it now and let's add a frame that will be triggered based on our scroll so i am keeping this blank just to show you guys so you can follow that method let's add a border so you can see that properly 15 percent so and let's add 15 px radius here and should be bottom face here and middle as well it's up to you i'm just showing how it's actually work duplicate that three times or two times i'm going to sh uh, i'm going to share this following three cards so you can create multiple one or you can also follow different method following this it's up to you so let's make this one one two three and the first one should be uh one in z index the second part should be two and third one should be three right okay so this portion is now on top and the rest of the part should be something like this for now well i am organizing that this way but it's all up to you i'm just showing here right so let's add the background i'm going to keep the default background here and let's click on its parent layer and duplicate that one time and remove everything this will be our scroll trigger right so now i'm going to add our scroll section like section one and you can see it has height in viewport uh, mode but i'm going to add this as a fixed and let's keep this 900 for now we can change that later and you will understand what is going on here let's duplicate that one more time and should be section two 
and let's duplicate that again and it should be section 3 right so it's done so i just need to connect uh, each section with it so that it can be triggered based on each section itself like when this section will come it has name it uh, as section 1 when this will come on the viewport here on a screen the first one like that the first one will be triggered right also this one but it will be triggered within its own position because we don't need to apply anything there we are going to apply that from here so i'm going to add the sticky position here and let's make this one visible you can see it's already visible and this part also visible it's parent one it and also the main one should be visible as well it will be overflowed so you have to keep that in mind so let's apply the effect here now so now it's triggered right it's it's sticky at this moment so what i'm going to do the first one this should be triggered following scroll transformation so i'm going to do that following the section because i'm going to use the section here and let's keep this in middle for now and trigger the section one from one like its default to its uh the position right i can make this 1000 or if i make this 100 you can see it just moved from here to here but i need to add another one so it can go top of the viewport because this one is our viewport and it's already exceeded that okay let's copy that again and paste that on our second card and just link that with our section 2 and also do the same for our section 3 okay it's done i think so let's test that if i scroll down you can see it's moving too fast right but we can solve that later see it's doing its job properly so when the first uh, section coming here this actually triggered and this how it's moving now then the second portion coming and that's how it's the second card will be moved based on the scroll but let me at this moment it's a little bit slow right so let me add the viewport should be bottom like it should not come here in the middle part to move that specific card it will be move uh, when the section will come on the bottom and too fast it will be fast and more accurate like see it's fast now and you can see the development part like this part is not visible because we made the whole part as a uh, viewport here on top and that's why it's actually moving too fast if you want to make this one also triggered you can also move that here as well and then you can also trigger that like let me so let's make this one absolute and make this something like this and let's add the effect on the first one like I want the first one will be moved and also this one at the same time and let's copy that and paste that I think it's done maybe yes see you can make it more perfect and accurate uh, like by playing around um, the height of each uh, section that we linked here like at this moment it's 900 right you can also make uh, you can also make this something like this and it will be moved uh, slowly than before right now let's make this 1500 you will understand see how slow it is at this moment you can also make this first by changing the height of itself like let's make this 600 it will be fast and so I am telling you to play around with that and you will see a lot of possibilities or creativity will come within your mind and you can also apply that and that is why i'm not going to share this remix file because i want you to play around with this and break down this concept by yourself so that you can create much more better components or effect or animation or whatever you name it by yourself and that's what i want from this video and also if you face any issue you can reach me on the comment section also my twitter account have a good time bye